Hi, this is Xtal in this tutorial. We'll be using Touch Designer's geometry system to create a point cloud style visual rendered entirely with dots. I'll walk you through how to connect the box top with a geo comp to build this effect. First load two image files using the movie file in top. I'm using images I previously created with AI. I recommend choosing images with clear shapes like people or objects. Next, bring in a switch top and connect the two image inputs. This node lets you select between multiple sources and sets up the structure for toggling between the two visuals. Now bring in an LFO node and connect it to the switch top. This will allow the two images to smoothly alternate. The LFO node generates periodic changes and by adjusting its values, you can control the speed of the image transition. Connect a level top to the switch. This node allows you to adjust the light and dark areas of the image, enhancing the contrast. It helps you fine-tune brightness and contrast to make the image more distinct. Next, connect a constant top and change its color to black. Then, setting the operation to over enhances the image by adding a dark background on top, which creates more distinct contrast and makes the visual sharper. Now, connect a null top. This node acts as a signal pass-through allowing you to reference it in later stages of your network. It's useful for storing data or providing a reference for subsequent operations. Next, connect a noise top to add texture to the image. This node generates random patterns, giving the image a more natural, rough feel. You can adjust it to create a paper-like texture and add more depth to the visuals. Connect a comp to link the feedback and level nodes, then set the operation to add to combine the layers more brightly and strongly. As mentioned earlier, bring in the feedback and level tops in sequence and connect them to null one and the comp. The feedback node adds gradual changes or effects by using previous frames, while the level top is used to control these effects. Connect the comp to the feedback top's target top. Now adjust level 2 by setting the clamp input to clamp 0 to 1 and changing the post gamma to 2. This ensures the image appears completely black by precisely controlling the dark areas of the visual. Reconnect a null to the COM P you worked on earlier. This null stores the processed data from previous steps and helps you reference it in subsequent operations. Connect a res top to the null and change the resolution to 600 by 600. Bring in a top to chop and connect res1 as the input for the top. Then, input luma to the red channel to adjust the image's brightness. After that, set crop to full image to utilize the entire image area. To restructure the chop channels for better processing later on, connect a shuffle chop to the top to chop.
to scale or normalize the values connect a math chop. Next, this node lets you apply mathematical operations to chop data and adjust it to your desired range. To combine multiple chop streams, bring in a merge chop and connect both the shuffle and math chops. This allows the data from both nodes to flow together as one stream. To extract resolution values, bring in an info chop and connect it to the res top you created earlier. Then type res asterisk in the scope field to access and set res x and res y to 600. To create a grid that matches the resolution, bring in a grid SOP and drag and drop the values from the info chop into the x and y size fields, then type slash 40 to reduce the overall grid size. To add variation to the grid, connect a noise SOP to the grid SOP. This node introduces random movement to point positions, making the grid look more natural and organic. To manage the noise modified data reliably, connect a null SOP after the noise SOP. Then, use a SOP to chop to bring the null SOP into the chop network and link it to a merge chop. This allows you to integrate SOP data into the chop stream effectively, making it easier to use for animation or control. Now create a box SOP which serves as the core element of the point cloud. This box will act as the base shape for each point and will be visualized through instancing. To use the box effectively, connect it to a geocomp and adjust the X position value. This allows you to change the position of each box, adding more variety to the point cloud effect. Enable instancing in the GeoComp and input null4 into the default instance OP. This connects the GeoComp to null4, allowing the data from null4 to control each instance. By inputting values for translate, rotate, and scale in the instance parameters, the position, rotation, and size of each instance are controlled individually, making the image appear as a collection of points. These values play a crucial role in the point cloud effect, allowing each point to be positioned and transformed independently in space. Translate adjusts the position, rotate handles the rotation, and scale modifies the size, contributing to the creation of a visually three-dimensional point cloud. Next, bring in a light comp. This light emphasizes the visual depth and three-dimensionality of the point cloud in 3D space, making each point appear differently depending on the lighting. 
it enhances the overall atmosphere and effect, making it look more realistic. Connect a render top. The render top outputs the 3D scene to the screen, generating the final image with the combined point cloud and lighting effects. Now, use an LFO node to add a sense of depth by making the small points appear to move. Connect the LFO to the anchor U, V, and W of the box to make the points move over time. This will give the point cloud a dynamic effect. Next, bring in a constant mat from the mat section and connect it to the geo comp. The constant mat allows you to directly adjust the color and brightness of the points, giving the visual effect a sharper and more vivid appearance. Connect a null top and an overtop to the render top. Next, bring in a constant top and connect it as the second input to the overtop. This allows you to adjust the background color beneath the point cloud effect giving you the flexibility to experiment with different colors and achieve various atmospheres. Adjust the nodes you've created so far to modify the size of the points, the amount of noise, and the movement I will enhance the size of the points and make the movement appear larger. This allows for fine-tuning the final effect and achieving the desired visual outcome. I will add multiple images to create a more complex effect. Adding several image files will generate different atmospheres and textures.
Let's adjust the color of the constant mat. Changing the color in the constant mat allows you to control the base color of the points, which helps change the overall mood and color scheme. This step is crucial for enhancing the visual expression of the point cloud effect. I will increase the size of the box to create a more solid and heavy appearance. Increasing the size will make each point appear larger, giving a more blunt and weighty impression, enhancing the visual impact of the point cloud effect. I will add a bloom filter on top of the point cloud to create a soft glowing effect. The bloom filter highlights the bright areas and adds a glowing effect, giving the visual a more smooth and ethereal look. Finally, connect Resolution Out and Movie File Out to prepare for output. Resolution sets the output resolution, Out displays the final result on the screen, and Movie File Out allows you to save the result as a video file. And that's the end of the Point Cloud Illusion Geometry based dot rendering tutorial. I hope you enjoy creating your own unique 3D dot effects through this process. Feel free to experiment and create even more creative outcomes. You can download the point cloud file from my Patreon. Feel free to grab the file through Patreon and experiment with different ideas. Thank you.